Hello, I'm Barnali Bhattacharya. I'm a consultant pediatrician and the lungs of my asthmatic children is the heart of my practice. In my last video, I had spoken about food fatism in asthma and that time I had mentioned that there are many, many triggers in asthma. Uh, today, I thought why not speak about those triggers. Now, triggers can be indoor, triggers can be outdoor, triggers can be allergen, they can be irritants. So the common triggers are in pediatric age group is viral infections, a tough trigger to have because how do you control viral infections, especially when children go to school, they play with children who may be also harboring the viruses, they may be staying in a daycare, so viruses. Second is house dust mite. Now these pesky little creatures are actually microscopic. We don't get to see them. And frequently when I tell my parents about it, they say, but the house is so clean. But they are lurking around. They are in your mattresses. They are in your thick drapes. They are in your upholstery. So we have to do dust control measures to avoid the house dust mite. Smoke is a very common trigger. Now when I say smoke, it's not just cigarette smoke. Of course, cigarette is an absolute taboo in a household which has an asthmatic. Sometimes I have parents who are smoking and I have to be very harsh on them to say, this is just not on. But it's just not that small. It's also the mosquito coils. Uh, do you know that a one mosquito coil is equivalent to 100 cigarette smokes? Then agarbatti. Then also the religious ceremonies where you have havan. So many times it's happened that a child has actually gone for a religious ceremony and has come down with a flare-up. So we must remember and we must know that, you know, all the smoke of any kind, or they could be burning some harvest somewhere if you've gone to a farm for a holiday, that itself can, you know, ruin your entire holiday because your child can come down with a huge flare. Fungus. If an asthmatic is just not getting settled, to ask that, is there any dampness in the wall? Time and again, it is just fungus. So indoor allergens are you seeing is just so, so common. So we have to kind of fix that leaky roof or a damp wall because funguses can kind of trip a very good therapy. Cockroaches, cockroaches, can trigger asthma. Cockroaches are especially particularly bad for people who have allergic rhinitis. Now allergic rhinitis is a condition, it's a comorbid of and about nearly 70% of our asthmatics have an allergic rhinitis. And now um, animal dander and pets. Now pets can be uh, sometimes a very very emotional thing to discuss with families. So I never tell them that if they have a pet at home and if we kind of diagnose somebody with asthma that should they uh, do away with the pets put it up for adoption no unless and until we know that the asthma is being caused by the pet then we have no reason to kind of because it can be heartbreaking and there are ways of finding out that is a child or is an asthmatic say uh, having problems with the pet um, then um, strong smells. Strong smells can be perfume. Strong smells can be when there is cooking and you know the tadka that we uh, do. A lot of kids start coughing and sometimes mothers can tell that the child actually gets very uncomfortable or sometimes she actually identifies that she also has a problem because every time she cooks she has an issue. Then uh, change in uh, weather conditions. Uh, so uh, especially when there is a cloud cover now they say that cloud cover you know there are studies which say that around us the char there is positive and negative charges and the negative charges are actually beneficial for us and when there is a cloud cover uh, the undersurface of the cloud is all positive so all the negative charges kind of are drawn up uh, so cloud cover can be a trigger in a lot of asthmatics. Then the cold draft of air. 
So if you are in a cold city and the child loves to sit in front of a bike and the child is an asthmatic, in the winters that itself can be a trigger. So when parents say, my child has asthma, what about the fan? I say, of course, yes, it's summer, you can. But maybe don't put them right under the fan for the cold draft of air or not directly in front of the AC. And the air conditioner brings me back to funguses that can air conditioners be used? Yes, they can be, but it should be frequently serviced and uh, so that if there are funguses, we should be getting rid of it. Pollens. Now, pollens are not only outdoors. We love to gift each other flowers and pollens can actually cause uh, a trigger. It's known worldwide that pollens are a very bad trigger. And so especially, you know, when you gift people lilies, uh, it's best to cut off those pollen, those stamens ourselves before gifting them. And it's better to probably, if you must take uh, flowers, it's a good idea to gift orchids or probably just a plant and not a flower. You know, I kind of have started educating people about it because pollens are just such strong tips, triggers. Um, now, exercise. Now, in children, Time and again, moms ask that every time he goes to play, he coughs. This is before we've started them on controller therapy. Now, again, you cannot deprive a child of playing, right? So this is the only trigger that they don't avoid. They overcome it by correct treatment. Um, so I'm just wondering how I covered all the triggers. Well, stress. Stress, we think children don't have stress. By stress, it's an emotional upheaval. So, so many of my children actually come down around their birthday. So, and also stress of all kinds. You know, these days we have uh, family issues. It's just not separation. If it's a, it's a joint family that's breaking up and you know, the parents are growing nuclear, that itself also triggers. So you're saying that there are just, oh, forgot to tell about environmental pollution. Uh, diesel emission particles. So uh, trees which are around a highway are hyper allergic because of the pollens. Schools which are close to the highway, those are really not good for children who have asthma because there is just so much of diesel emission particles. And along with this, there is a whole lot of other environmental pollution. Have you seen that sometimes when you take your child to the mall, the child comes down with problem. That is not only because of the carpeting in many of the stores, which could be harboring house, house dust mite, but it's the organic volatile compounds that all those boards that are emitting all the time. So, you know, mall itself is a huge trigger. So if you see now that you know, trigger, there are so many triggers that you have no control over. Herein comes the importance of putting children or for that matter, all asthmatics under controller therapy. And in spite of their good control and good trigger measures, if we are still not able to identify, then it may be a good idea then to do some allergic testing to know is there a potent allergen which we have not identified. I hope you found this helpful. And of course, if there are more queries, you can put your comments and I will come back with more videos in the future. Thank you.